Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily make a vending machine using an image texture. Just to let you guys know, I am using textures.com for this tutorial. And you do not have to use textures.com, you can even get your image from the internet. Alright, let's get this thing started. So first things first, go ahead and search up textures.com. Then click on the first link, and you should see a lot of this stuff yeah stuff and then on the search bar go ahead and type vending and press enter you can choose anything you want but for this tutorial i'm just going to choose this blue machine right here now go ahead and download it now get into blender then add the image that you've downloaded in the material properties tab go to settings and turn the blend mode to opaque this will help make the image not translucent if needed Go to edit mode and use edge loops to separate the background and the vending machine. Then delete the faces of the background so that you just get the vending machine. Then extrude the back of the image to a rectangle shape. Now go ahead and correct the UVs so that it doesn't look so weird. Who wants two vending machines on both sides? Create detail by using edge loops to separate the vending machine and the window. Then extrude the window in. Then use edge loops to separate the shelves. Then extrude it. You can use edge loops in the knife tool to add further more detail. For more detail, add a sphere, and adjust it to the sizes of the items in the vending machine. Go to wireframe in edit mode, and select the top of the sphere, and stretch it to height. Then select the bottom part, and scale it down on the z-axis. Then stretch it. Shade it smooth, and position it so it's standing on the shelves. Then duplicate it in a row from one end to the other. With all of them selected, press Ctrl J to join them. Add a camera and position it so it sees all the items in the machine. Just make sure the camera is straight. Click on the spheres and create a new material. Then choose the vending machine texture and go to edit mode and press A. Fix the UV so it matches the shape of the spheres. And you should get something that kind of looks like this. Do the same thing with the other rows, but make sure to duplicate the texture. To make a window, go ahead and add a plane and position it and add a new material. Go ahead and copy this to your plane so you can get this glass effect. Go to the material properties tab and make it alpha blend. And you should get something like this for a result. To keep in mind, this works with Cycles and Eevee. For a little more detail, add an area light, then position it to the bottom of the glass. Then change the shape to rectangle. Go ahead and adjust it so it's inside the glass. Then change the power to a thousand. Now you can choose the color of your choice, but for me, I personally choose blue. It kind of gives that cooling color. And that is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'll be posting more tutorials soon. See you next time.